Well, it's not very often you're invited into the home of a knight of the realm. I'm really privileged today, Stoke versus Aston Villa, and we're joined by a soon-to-be nonagenarian, 90, on the 3rd of January. So, Doug, it's great to see you. You're looking really well, and, uh, well, you're Mr Aston Villa. If I could ask you to sum up in one sentence, Sir Doug, what Aston Villa means to you? My life. That's life. I, uh, I gave everything to Aston Villa because I love the club. And it all started through Joe Mercer. He went to the same school as me, as Stan Collis did in Ellesmere Port. So when I came to Birmingham in 1948, um, I got attached to Aston Villa, season tickets and so forth. And that's why in 1963, no, yes, 63, um, I was um, traveling with the directors, Bruce Normanson and Joe Heath, to away games, and uh, it was a certainty that I was going on the board. But in the end, I got a black ball, and um, our friend, um, Harry Dare, not Harry Dare, Harry Morris's brother, Len Morris, rang me and said, would you do the same for us uh, that you've offered to Aston Villa? And I said, what do you mean? He said, well, we know you've offered 30,000 pounds, the equivalent of what Joe Heath's put in to take on Aston Villa. Would you do the same for us? I said, no, I'm a Villa man. <laughs> Cut a long story short, I made a mistake. I learned how not to run a football club by joining Birmingham City. Much more to come from Sir Doug in our pre-match show. We also hear from Mark Albright, a local boy, academy graduate, outstanding youth system at Aston Villa, and we recall some goals scored by the club uh, over the years, over the festive period. Some absolute belters in there. <laughs> 